Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, what I have here is an inverter, okay? Now, all inverters aren't designed the same way. They're not all built the same way. This one here is a modified sine wave inverter. You don't really want one of these unless you know what it is and you have a load that doesn't matter if it has kind of a chunky, you know, inverter sine wave AC waveform coming out that is, you know, maybe it has really bad total harmonic distortion and you want to save some money, then get one of these. I'm going to bring you over here, show you the waveforms, and we're going to talk about this in just a minute here. Uh, you may want to build a solar system or you could just buy something like this, the EcoFlow River 2. Now, I reviewed this a little while back. This guy has a pure sine wave inverter, so just like the power out of your house. Nice sine wave nice clean power okay so if you want that you don't want to get one of these you want to get a pure sine wave inverter so let's talk about that for just a moment all right guys so here i'm going to just show you this little board i made okay hopefully there's no glare on it kind of zoom in on it here all right so basically on an inverter the output it's like any other audio amplifier well like a lot of audio amplifiers uh, where you have a push-pull transistor. Okay, so let's just look at this thing here. I just got transistor here tied between the output and the plus voltage rail, and one tied between the output and the minus voltage rail. So on a, you know, like a modified uh, inverter, like the one we're gonna see, what would happen is there's some time delay, and then it puts pulse up. This guy turns on, pulls up to plus V. And it tries to form a little bit. This inductor tries to shape it a little bit uh, to kind of modify that so it's not quite as square as it might look. But it's pretty much a square wave. And it's just a modified sine wave. It's an AC waveform. You know, not very pretty. We're going to come over here, look it on the scope, okay? What I want to show you also, well, okay, compared to, let me just step back. Now, compared to, uh, pure sine wave where what would happen is this guy would be pulsing at the beginning of the sine wave It'd be pulsing very narrow pulse widths and then go wider towards the top of the waveform and then go back to narrow as it crosses zero and then the inductor would smooth it out and make a sine wave waveform and so um, They look pretty sinusoidal. It's a lot like a class D amplifier. So a pure sine wave Pretty nice. Class D amplifier, inverter, you know, they have a lot in common. What I want to show you here is this one here is a, kind of a stepped modified. And what would happen is, let's say that the uh, plus B and minus B is a voltage that's halfway to the plus B, the voltage rail here, okay? So what would happen is, as the sine wave goes up, this one, would, this transistor, I just showed switches here, but this would be a fat. It would turn on and it would pull the waveform up to this red thing, okay? And then a little bit, a little time later, this one would turn on and it would pull all the way up to plus V. And then it would drop, turn off, and then finally this one would turn off, and then this one would turn on, causing this blue waveform. And then a little delay, this one would turn on, pull it further down. Then it would turn off, dropping it back down to this. So you can kind of see that, right? Now, some people call them stepped inverters. And there could be four or lots of levels, as a matter of fact, of these. I've, I mean, recently I've seen them, gosh, I don't even know. Like, I want to say 16 steps or something. There might be eight here and eight here. But there's lots of steps. And then they can smooth it out and kind of make it sinusoidal. So it's just a different way of doing it when you do lots of steps. Sounds pretty, you know, complicated too, right? So uh, the pure sine wave, the class D form where it's turning on and off, like this was turning on, narrow pulse width, wide pulse width, back to narrow. You know, that to me, I think I like that better than these step type. So I just wanted to go over this stepped inverter type too, just in case you see that, because I've seen a lot of literature lately about these step kind where there's multiple steps. 
these modified ones uh, kind of came into a two-step type a long time ago. So that was kind of old. But more recently, they've kind of like added a lot more steps. And they're trying to really improve on that type of inverter. But I think the Class D type, where it's just the pulse widths and their own wide, I, I still kind of like that better. Anyway, just wanted to cover that. Let's come over to the bench take a look. All right, guys. So... This is a setup. This is a modified sine wave generator. I'm gonna zoom in, kind of show you some of this a little bit closer. But here, let me get this out of the way. Um, I've got some connections over here. We got the 12 volt battery input, and then it also works off a PV, a, a full voltaic panel, a solar panel. And here's our fuse on off switch. Here's the output and a breaker, okay? So that's a Manson MEM. 1115. I don't tell you this because I think you want to buy one, but, and I guess there's a close up. We'll just jump to that right now. So that's kind of what it looks like. You got all these LEDs. So the battery, this guy is going to pretend to be our battery coming in here, this power supply. And it is a battery, you know, depending on the level of the battery, you know, kind of tell you what it is here and tell you if it's charging and if there's a, uh, the inverter's on. And all that we don't have a solar panel hooked up i just have this unconnected right now okay and so right now this guy here like I say it's going to be our battery 13 volts coming into these terminals and then our output comes right over here which will go up to the resistor load i'll show you here in a moment we've got differential leads looking at the output so we can see that voltage we also have a current probe okay they're both mixed sigs the current probe is that new uh, current probe the CP503 I did it I kind of showed that in the video and the differential probe is a new DP750 100 so let me just show you the scope again oh and this by the way this matrix power supply super nice I really like this power supply it is very capable uh, 6 amps 32 volts okay so and it has all these memories really nice okay so and it has an on off which I really like that function has a power switch but it turns you know once you set it up you can hit on off and apply the voltage so i like that i'll use this power resistor box for my load so right now i have it set for 500 ohms uh 40 ohms here and 90 ohms there or 9 ohms so uh so 549 ohms to start with and i can adjust this down and to get more load okay and that's the THD meter. I'll show you that or read out the THD. All right, guys, this is a mix sig. Uh, differential probe is set for 50 volts per division and currents 100 milliamps per division. Okay. And we're set at five milliseconds per division there. So I may have shown you these probes in other videos, but they're super nice. I'll just show you how they're magnetic. They fit on there really tight and they have these nice. They have this nice connector, these little springy pins. Uh, so this is a magnetic part and this is a springy part. And then it automatically detects it when it's in. Now, if you like the current probe, but you don't want to, or you don't have a mixig. So if you like the current probe, but you don't have a mixig scope, you can get one without that special connector. And the differential probe comes with an adapter, so pretty cool by the way the links are down below i appreciate using the links it doesn't cost you anything and it's a free way to support the channel all right guys i'm going to hit the power switch on this power supply set for 13 volts okay here we go and there we go look at that output down at the bottom of the screen you'll see the high 138 volts rms is 113 currents 248 high and 201 now, does that look sinusoidal? Not really. <clears throat> so, this is one of the, this might be, you know, kind of on the worst side of the ones I've seen. Uh, I haven't looked at the price of this guy, but it's probably very inexpensive. I got it on a trade, I think, a long time ago, so I don't even know if you can get this particular one. But, yeah, so just kind of stay clear of the modified sine waves. I'll bring down uh, the resistance so we can increase how much current we're pulling. 
And yeah, you see the current's going up. Doesn't really change. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. So right there, we're reporting about 350 milliamps. I think this guy is capable of about 150 watts, I believe. All right, look at that THD. Total heart mic distortion's like 24%, pretty bad. Okay guys, so after looking at that waveform, you can see why you don't want a modified sine wave inverter. You want, you know, what some people call pure sine wave, true sine wave. You want a, a nice sine wave generator, right? Because that's not going to play nice with some electronics. Now, some electronics might be fine with, but yeah. I, I think you find fewer of these these days. They are very inexpensive, so that's one giveaway. If you see an inverter and the price is real low, make sure it says like pure sine wave or you know something like that. But you don't want a modified sine wave generator. So, all right guys, two thumbs up my patrons. Just a quick video to show you what this looks like, just in case you might run into one, just to save you some trouble and spend a little money, get a pure sine wave or a true sine wave inverter, okay? Uh, and uh, links down below if you want to be a Patreon. If you want to hit the Super Thanks button, that would be awesome. Uh, it's a quick way to give a little donation, something, you know, buy me a cup of coffee, I always say. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I appreciate it, guys. And uh, a free way to help the channel is just hit the like button, subscribe. And some of you guys who, uh, if I haven't answered you right away on the comments, Look down below, see if you've subscribed, because I hit the subscribers first, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.